more energy than that. I saw like 10 of you at Chipotle like 10 minutes ago, so come on, I know you have energy, you got all that brown rice in you. Uh, so how are you guys doing? It's Sunday, we're in Chicago, it's summertime, yay! I know Scott was talking about it before, I went to Pride. I didn't actually expect to go, my friend called me up. I've been friends with her for seven years, and she called me and she was like, Erica, I have something to tell you, and it's gonna shock you, um, but I'm gay. I was like, bitch, tell me something I didn't know. Like, you know what I'm saying? Do you have Alan Arvison cornrows in your hair? You're gay. Like, what the fuck? You have basketball shorts on. Who's hooping later? Nobody, bitch. You eat pussy. Let's go out. Um, <laughs> you're paying, right? So uh, we went out to Berlin. Um, and I'm, she just starts laughing. Because I've never gone to Berlin before. And this is my first gay club experience. So you might have noticed what I noticed at Berlin. One. I did not know that there was a dance remix to Amazing Grace. Because uh, <laughs> apparently gay people remix gospel songs. Um, I was like, ama ama I was like, my grandmother was buried to this song. <laughs> like, I'll dance to it, but I don't feel good about it. Um, <laughs> secondly, um, I noticed that you single men, you might want to step your game up, because these lesbians always got me. Uh, <laughs> their game was fucking flawless. Okay, that pie charts and graphs and shit, like I was going, right? Um, this Chinese girl came up to me, she was really big, and she was like, excuse me, I just wanna let you know, you are the most beautiful woman I've ever seen in my entire life. And I was like, oh my God, thank you. And she was like, I'm for real. I was like, bitch, I believe you the first time. <laughs> like, I know what I look like. It's not a mistake, bitch, okay? Like, don't compliment me and insult me in the same breath, okay? Uh, move along. So she walked away, right? And then she turned around really quickly and came back and I got scared because I'm light-skinned and I can't fight. So I was like, shit, and she came back. And this is what she said to me. She was like, I apologize if I offended you earlier, but if you came home with me, you wouldn't have to cook, you wouldn't have to clean, you wouldn't have to pay any bills, and I would just eat your pussy every night. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, have you been reading my diary? What the fuck? <laughs> Never wanted anything else but what she was telling me. My friends, my fucking dumbass friends are like, okay, this place is boring, let's go to Wrigleyville. I was like, fuck Wrigleyville. <laughs> let's stay here. These lesbians are passing out futures. Like, <laughs> I swear to God, no one in John Barley Corn's gonna say that shit to you. <laughs> Got this big old dick, and soon you can change my credit score. So, I think I'm gonna go east. Uh, but, <laughs> I did go to Barley Corn with my friends, and like every girl in here, you, eight month girl, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you go out with a group of girls, one girl in the group is the fucking hoe. You know what I'm talking about? She just bust out laughing, so it's obviously that girl. Like, one of them is a fucking whore. Like, you always know, because whores ask random questions out of nowhere. You'll be like, Katie, do you want another run of coke? She'll be like, yeah. By the way, how many dudes does it take for it to count as a train? Like, <laughs> yes! <laughs> Wait, but Jesus Christ, it's, it's Easter. We shouldn't be talking about this. <laughs> Jesus didn't die for this, right? It, also, if there's a group of women out, every woman in here knows, one of them is the ugly woman. Now, everyone got quiet, talk amongst yourselves, figure it out. But it's not like your face is ugly, like your soul is ugly, like you're a fucked up, hate ass bitch. You know that bitch. Like, shit, oh God, this bitch, you like, why did we bring this bitch? Like, the one who has the morals all the time and shit, like, you can't fuck two dudes in one night, no bitch, you can't fuck two dudes in one night. friend is in your group they live by a motto like they will say this at some point in the night like no matter what you guys are doing I went out with my ugly friend right made a mistake went to this place, this place on the south side called the shrine right we go in there and Joe Kinoa is in it right so immediately my pussy's like trap him poke some holes in the car you know like whatever so I'm thinking future plans right so <laughs> You know, I have bills to pay, so I go up to uh, Joaquin, right? And I'm with the ugly girl, she's like, who is that? Like, oh God, just shut up, stay down from the shadows, right? So I go up to Joaquin and I'm like, hey Joaquin, I'm such a fan of yours, I love, you know, the bulls and everything. And Joaquin was like, oh, you're really cute, do you have a man? And I do, but I'm not gonna tell him that because he won't fuck me then, right? So I was like, no, I've never seen a dick before, can I see yours? Um, 
So he was just like, well, you know, I'm not doing shit tonight, and if you want to hang out, we should kick it, right? So I was like, oh my God, okay, yeah. Let me go tell my ugly friend, right? <laughs> so I go to my ugly friend, and I'm like, yo, he no one wants to kick it with me tonight. And what does the ugly friend say? What do all ugly bitches say in that situation? We came together, we leave together. Like, oh, bitch, we took a red line here. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> go towards Howard, bitch. Like, I could have stopped us to the finals. <laughs> like, we would at least beat the Cavs. That's how good my dick sucking skills are. But, <laughs> so I got quiet. I'm not gonna just tease women. I'm gonna tease you men. Like, any man in here want to admit to taking a picture of their dick and sending it to somebody? No, it's just me. I have all the dicks in my phone, right? Yeah, right. Okay, fucking great. All right, this is a little public service announcement to any man in here who's ever taken a picture of their dick and sent it to somebody, a woman. Uh, have the same dick on you when she gets to your house. You know what I'm saying? Don't catfish your dick. Don't Google image dicks. Don't ask your best friend for his dick to send to her. Have your dick. Today's dick, July 12, 2015's dick, okay? Not your high school dick, not your college dick. Today's dick, right? Um, a dude sent me a dick picture. Well, I'll, I'll tell you exactly what happened. He was too old to be fucking with anyway, but I kept asking him to send me a dick pic. I'm like, send me a dick pic, send me a dick pic. He's like, okay, okay, what's your address? The fuck? No! Not the mail, you fucking lunatic? He's like, oh, okay, 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 be a text, right? So he sent it. Oh, it was so beautiful, right? It took like, oh, it took like two text messages to get in on one. Oh my God, I was so excited, right? Until I went over to his house and <laughs> we started kissing and he's like, um, before we get started, <laughs> I had to let you know that that was an old picture. Like, I have since been in a fire. A fucking fire? Where? You don't smell smoke? Like, the next dude, <laughs> who sends me a dick pic has got to have a newspaper in the background with today's headline. <laughs> Honestly, your dick in the Taste of Chicago ends today. Like, that's what fuck is. With all that being said, I am a teacher in the daytime. <laughs> I am, I am. I'm a special ed teacher, too. Yeah? Woo, give it up for that, teachers! Teachers, but uh, I think are you guys Chicagoans? You know, Chicago, yeah. Illinois, yeah. So I teach up in the suburbs, I teach up in Northbrook. And if you're familiar with Northbrook, you know that I'm the blackest thing they've ever seen in Northbrook. It's just me and the fucking janitor, right? So, and I'm also the youngest teacher there. So I like sit in the teacher's lounge with all these older white women and I listen to them talk about their weekends. And I'm like, please ask me, please ask me about my weekend, right? And Betty will go first. and. Betty would be like, Betty, what did you do this weekend? And Betty would be like, oh my god, we drove to Door County, Wisconsin, and we went apple picking. Erica, the apples were delicious. Like, really, Betty? Kill yourself. Uh, <laughs> Dorothy, Dorothy, what did you do this weekend? Dorothy would be like, oh my god, we went to Whole Foods and bought like 10 pounds of kale, and we od us smoothies all weekend. Like, really, Dorothy? Hope you lose a baby this year. Uh, <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> Erica, what'd you do this weekend? I'm like, oh, me? I sucked the dick so big it brought a tear to my eye. <laughs> you know the dick you have to put your hair up in a ponytail to suck properly? Oh, look how quiet it got. Dudes, look around. Any girl who has a scar tear in her wrist is a fucking whore. She's not working out later, she's sucking dicks later. That's all I'm telling you. Look at eight months. She's <laughs> eight months covering your wrist. I see the scrunchie on your wrist. Do you see her? Everyone look at her scrunchie on her wrist. Like I said, I teach special ed, and I do, I do. I'm a, I'm a terrible teacher. Like, okay, I'll, I'll give you some stories. One, my students, I teach all white kids, and uh, all predominantly Jewish students. They were obsessed with the Jackie Robinson West Little League team. And I'm gonna fuck what anybody says, they're the chance to me, so fuck it. Like, I let them be obsessed with them. Yeah, I clap it up for them, fuck that shit, fuck that, whatever. I don't think they're going to the Kansas, whatever. So my students were super obsessed with them. So I found a movie theater in a neighboring suburb of Buffalo Grove that was playing the movie 42. If you don't know what 42 is, it's a movie based on Jackie Robinson's life. Like, so those two things don't have a lot to do with each other, but I thought like, they've never been to the movie theater before, I'll take them to go see this, you know, kind of bridge the gap. Um, I'm gonna tell you what happened at the movie theater, okay? Um, 
First of all, these motherfuckers, right? <laughs> talked from beginning to end, not even to the end of the movie, till we were kicked the fuck out of the movie theater, okay? So, and I went there giving them a prep talk, like a coach, like, okay, I know you've never been to a movie theater, it's not like home, you can't talk. When the lights go off, you guys be quiet, get it? Everyone, shut the fuck up, you get it? All right, fine, great, right? Go in there, the lights go off, they immediately start talking. Miss Erica, what's going on? Why is it so dark in here? Told you shut the fuck up, didn't I? Okay, so, <laughs> they keep talking, right? So, they're quiet for five minutes, and then they're like, Miss Erica, why are they, that man being so mean to Jackie? And I'm like, oh, that guy's white, and Jackie's black. This girl with Kelly's like, Jackie's not black, he's brown. I'm like, bitch, you need fucking break. Okay, you know what the fuck I mean. Uh, I'm like, fine. Jackie's brown, that man's pink. Okay, whatever. So, they're like, why, <laughs> why are they being mean to him? <clears throat> and I'm like, oh, kind of goes, dates back to slavery. This girl, Amara's like, what's slavery? Now, I don't know if you've ever had to define slavery in a crowded movie theater. Like, how the fuck do you do that? How do you whisper the definition of slavery, right? So, I'm trying to be very simple because my students have autism and Down syndrome. So I'm like, okay, well, the pink people stole the brown people, okay? Uh, brought them over here, made them do shit that they didn't want to do, made them do it for free. This boy Jason's like, oh, that's like school. Are we slaves, Miss Erica? Like, shut the fuck up! Oh my god, is that fucking slaves! But I will beat you like one if you don't shut the fuck up, right? <laughs> right? So, they keep talking, they keep talking. This boy Jonathan pulls out a PB and J sandwich and starts eating it. And I was like, I told you we were eating later. And he keeps eating it. I'm like, you're not one of the deaf ones. Put the fucking food away, right? Keeps eating the sandwich, right? <laughs> this girl, Allison, pulls out her phone. I'm like, hey, I told you not to bring a phone. You know you're not supposed to have a phone with you on a field trip. She pulls it out and she starts taking pictures of the movie. I'm like, okay, this kid has outside food. She's bootlegging the movie. Uh, for 12 white kids who don't know anything about slavery, she was still acting like a bunch of black people at the movie theater. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna tell you this one story before I get out of here, because I almost got fired the last week of school. Can't believe why, but, uh, okay, so, like, I am a teacher for real, I was a teacher for 10 years, and I never refer to my students as retards or retarded, like, I think it's offensive, it hurts their feelings, stuff like that. So I hate when people are like, oh, you're a bunch of retards, it's just, it's just mean. Um, so I have this one student who has autism, and he tells everyone that he loves him. It doesn't matter what the fuck you do, kick him in the nuts, he's like, I love you. But uh, so, so I'm with him at recess, and he goes up to his boy Aiden, and he hugs Aiden, and he's like, Aiden, I love you. And Aiden pushes him on the ground, and he's like, ew, don't touch me, retard. And I was like, fuck, I'm about to get fired, you know? Like, I'm gonna fuck my pension plan, I'm about to get fired, right? So. Go up to Aiden, and I was like, hey, Aiden, don't call my student retard, okay? It's very offensive, and it hurts his feelings. Aiden was like, ew, you smell like smoke. And I was like, okay, well, I smell like smoke because I smoke cigarettes, and I had a bit of a blunt at lunch, okay? So, <laughs> so I was like, fuck, I smell like smoke, okay? But Aiden, um, you're black, and at the PTA meeting, I said, your parents, and they were white, so you smell like adoption papers. <laughs> Bitch, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that was Eric and Cole Clark. Thanks. <laughs>